In the city's underground, there's a symphony of sound. A sonic chaos for the lost before they're found. There's a beauty in the sorrow. A kind of kinship that we borrow. For no matter how you hate it, I know I'll see you here tomorrow. Down on the subway. Yeah, just There's about five million people on an average day that ride the MTA. That's about quadruple the entire population of the island of Manhattan that take it every day. Think of all those things that you are and have been. Everyone has a story like yours within them. If you made a new acquaintance every time your heart beat, you would only meet about one third of those alive. Think of all those people that have come and gone before us. Those we leave behind us write the story of our lives. We become most anything we can conceive. Therein who we are is made of what we Able to do this today. I, I thought that I was going to be able to do it, that it would help, but. Okay. Thank you for being so understanding. No. No. That's so nice of you to offer. But really, I want to take the subway because it's going to be faster. Pleasure to see you again, sir.
strangers or lovers. The only difference is time. You never know how someone would complete your rhyme. Emergency. Excuse me, how long is this going to take? Your guess is as good as mine. He locked the door. be apparent that I'm about to ask for money. But I will neither regale you with my tale of woe, nor will I claim to be a plagued veteran of the U.S. of A. I prefer sirs, madams, to earn my wage. So I have prepared a performance for your listening pleasure from the work of Sir William Shakespeare. To be or not to be. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or by taking arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing and them to die. by a sleep to say we end. Excuse me. Could you not do that? Is it your intention to deprive these fine people of their entertainment? Soft you now? That will do. <laughs> Fine, sir. <laughs> oh, there's the rub. <laughs> we'll probably move in a minute or something. I'm an artist, actually. So, uh, kind of like an artist slash writer, I guess. Not professional or anything yet. Um, I've been working on this comic that, um, yeah, see? It's about a teenaged handicapped superhero 
she's risen above her misfortune to yeah, battle. That's what I'm talking right now. Uh, you speak gay. Yeah. Your um. Your dancing is is good. How do you know? Uh, what? You a dancer? <laughs> no, uh, I'm not. Well, I mean, you're in the studio. Well, like I said, I'm an artist, actually, and I. Right. Sort of... Remember just a second ago when I said I didn't want to talk? Yeah. Yeah, I meant that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk at all about anything. Okay. We could talk about nothing. Nothing's good. No thing. <laughs> Which is fascinating if you think about it in the nihilistic sense, because... Seriously? Do you think when I say I don't want to talk, that I really do want to talk to you? No. I, I just... I don't see you trying to show your stupid comic book to anyone else on this train. That's because I, I thought you would enjoy it. Really. What? Do you think maybe I was some... Cute little Asian girl that was gonna cover my face and giggle at all your clever little quips. Oh. No, no. I... Stay away from me. You creepy little weirdo. Handicap superhero? That's a good idea. Man. I guess. You do the drawings? Yeah. You're good. Thanks. Speech speech. I pray you. No traditional hero. I'll give you that, but that's why she's cool. Day. She's just a girl, shy and quiet Always ignored and made fun of at school But out of sight, under cover of night Her alter ego can finally take flight Magnificent Maggie and her wonder chair Magnificent Maggie, spreading wonder Oppression and bigotry everywhere she goes. Hey! With bionic power, cybernetic gear, her wheelchair could kick the Batmobile's ass. Oh, she has no fear when danger's near. Dr. Yes, PhD, she wants 
once was respected Her brain got infected And now she's freaking crazy Armed with a serum that seizes your will Raising an army with one order kill Death is the only prescription she's ready to fill Immune to the doctor's crusade of despair A beacon of hope as she flies through the air She stands up to evil without even leaving her Shit! Caleb, and you are... I am the sayer, the keeper of the thought, word, and poetry of the greatest and most significant, most insightful minds of this or any other universe. But you can call me Lloyd. Hi, Lloyd. So, what's your story? Um, are you like a drug addict? Uh, you don't have to answer that. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. I, sometimes I just say you can just tell me if I'm. If I'm no. Dead. I have no addictions to speak of. Not even alcohol? Oh my god. I'm just curious. You're gonna get curiously stabbed in the face. He's not gonna stab. You're not gonna stab. I was just asking him some simple questions. No, she's right. You have no idea how that kind of a person can react. He might be crazy!
little experiment. What do I look like to you? What do you mean? What do I look like to you? I don't know how to answer that question. It's all right. Go ahead. I, I don't know what you want me to say. Oh, sure you do. Go on ahead and say it. What do I look like to you? Go on. Say it. Homeless. You look like a homeless person. And what does he look like to you? No, what, what does he look like to you? That's enough. Oh, no. No, it's not enough. We've only just begun. No. Game's over. Don't you bother that woman no more. I am trying to make a point. Getting all up in this woman's face is not going to win you any points. Besides, what is she supposed to say? If you weren't homeless, you wouldn't be riding a train dressed like that with all your shit over there on the side asking strangers for cash. My lady, I assure you, my station in life does not correlate to my station of humanity. Nobody cares about all of that right now. We're just trying to get to where we're going. Uh, you owe her an apology. No, he doesn't have to. Go on, girl. Get your apology. Madam, it was not my intention to cause you any emotional distress. Close to go to school and maybe play. Tengo bastante alicien. Don't you yell at me? Got three jobs in esta ciudad. Busco solución, busco dignidad. Pero aquí bastante no es suficiente. Mis hijas merecen mucho más que bastante. Señor, te suplico, no merecen pobreza ni hambre. Trato, lucho, pero las puertas no. Stop listening with your ears, boy. Why didn't you tell me I'm going to stop going to ask us? Sometimes you work 18 hour days just so we can pay what we have to pay if we can't afford them. Why should I tell you? You've watched Mariela. You know how she dances. She's been so gifted. You know how big this chance is. Forzado cada día. Some men, it's not a man till he provides a su familia. 
There's so much living through. How can I rest when there's something I can do? They've gone without many times before. Now I think they've earned more. Long they deserve a father they respect, someone to be proud of, a man who can give a life more like a life to his children and his wife. Hope for the girls. Is something that we share, and work is only hard when there's no reason to be there. I know you feel alone. I'm never home. We both so tired. Can either remember? I'll do it for you. Las niñas y tú. Estoy seguro que su empleado lo entenderá. The only thing he would understand is that I'm not there on time. Oh, no, he'll understand. He... Oh, you're speaking English. I should have. My Spanish is. You might be interested to know that. Um... The Spanish that I do know, I learned from our janitorial staff. I mean, our um, maintenance men. You're just like them. No, I mean, you're not just like them, but you... Um... Well, I can see you're a very diligent worker. Well, I... I just think you're very fortunate. It's clear for you why you work I mean, you're lucky. You know who you are. Fortunate. Todos están volviendo locos en este tren. This country wasn't made for people like me. It was made for people like you. Why are you here? Seriously, why? Maybe because when it comes down to it, it's better than anyone else in the world. Better if you are a rich white man. I'm not a rich white man. Maybe your puppy is. What makes you say that? Your English is too good for a Chinese girl? I'm Korean. Let me go. I don't have anything you can't get for yourself. Mejor no hable, ¿sí? You've never had to decide between seeing your family and feeding your family. You probably never even had to pay for your own toilet paper. Nobody forced you to have a bunch of kids. I think it's incredibly honorable that he puts the needs of his family before his own. Okay, I get that. But what if something bad happened to you? What if you got hurt? What would you do? Go to the hospital, right? And you'd be treated. Only and correct me if I'm wrong. You don't have health insurance, so you wouldn't be able to pay. Well, that's a rather heartless way. Right, I know. That's the conundrum, right? So what happens is a bunch of hospitals have to shut down because of the overwhelming demand of people who get sick and hurt and can't afford to pay their bills. You think people are just supposed to be left bleeding in the street? No, I didn't say that. So they're not supposed to go to no hospital? There are reasons we have the laws that we do. There are reasons they were slaves. Illegal immigrants are not slaves. They come here because they want to. And do the work nobody else wants to do. Okay, but if they don't pay taxes, then- Wait, wait. How do you know you don't pay taxes? Most of them don't. Most of them. See what I'm saying? Racist. I don't mean Hispanics. I mean illegal immigrants. I don't mean to be racist. I mean to be racist. No, no, no. You're twisting my words. Girl, I got you. You've been tagged. OK, listen. Tag. Tag. Most, tag. Most tag. Of them, most tag. Can I finish my sentence, please? Yeah, you can finish your racist sentence. Go ahead. OK, first of all, I'm not the one who's racist. We're not all Chinese. And most illegal immigrants don't pay taxes because they have to get paid under the table. That's a fact. 
Doesn't matter if they're Mexican, Bengali, Indian. Damn! Ja Do you hear yourself? Which means they enjoy the benefits of our society without contributing, which hurts everyone. If he wants to live in America, then You he wouldn't even be here if your mommy and daddy could make their own kids. Wow. You got a bad case of rude. Oh, yeah? You people got your shit 50 years ago and still don't have it together. Excuse me? You people? You had a black president and still kill each other like it's your job. <laughs> Which is good, because you usually don't have one. So I defend your sorry ass, and that's what you gotta say? You only open your mouth because black people love to call racism anytime they can. I call it when ignorant people put it in my face. Well, maybe if you weren't so ignorant as a people. Okay. I'm gonna need you to watch your tone, Speedy Gonzalez. What the hell are you doing all day? Standing in the street, fumando marijuana, blaring shit from your stereo. Si no es la vida, mamita. Life ain't your ride, ain't your weave. I think this is a totally inappropriate conversation. You better watch your mouth before I yank your tongue out your you head. You ain't gonna do shit. Everybody knows you people are all talking. Let me show you how I talk. No, 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 wait a minute. Mate, we're all trapped on the train together. Taco, I should punch you in your face. Quite right, my lady. Quite right. Hey, how much did you give that guy anyway? Twenty dollars. Takes me three hours to make that. I can give you some too if, if you want. No, 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 no. I work for my money, mijo. I work honestly for my wage as well, sir. Oh, yeah? Haciendo que? By doing what? Sleeping on the train? Lying in the gutter? Who you serving doing that? You? Me? Them? I bring a measure of grace to the world. No, my mess. You know what I don't get? Me? I would do anything to feed my kids. Anything for my familia. And you? There is nothing wrong with you. Nothing. Except that you won't get up of that bench to help yourself or anyone else. Thou nature, art my goddess. To thy laws my services are bound. Wherefore should I stand in a plague of custom and let the curiosity of nations deprive me? When my dimensions are as well compact, my mind generous. ¿Quieres que te parezca el diablo? My shape as true. Va a devolver de un madrazo, cabrón. No te. Va a devolver de un madrazo. <laughs> Everybody is afraid of the dark. Your feet are rounding to the beat of your heart. When the lights go out, it's easy to feel every little phobia that suddenly appears. You thought you had a handle on the darkness inside, but now you see that you got nowhere to hide. Cause all the demons that were scared of the light were only hesitating till the moment was right. You're stuck, you're stuck inside an endless loop of morbid possibility. Whoa, you're stuck, you're stuck when your mind expands to fill the space that you no longer see. Imagination operates at the highest degree, which turns you into what you thought you never could be. Whoa. Step outside your body and open your mind. Experience the freedom of a world you can't see. And maybe, maybe then you'll comprehend the demon is me. Whoa, you're stuck, you're stuck, you're stuck. If you keep trying to be someone you're not. Whoa, you're stuck, you're stuck. If you never open up to all the people you got. So shake the trance and take the chance you're starting to grow. Cause when your brain you start to crave that thing you know
the subway. Talk about the subway. 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 Right now, like right this second. That don't qualify as an emergency. Okay, listen, look. If you don't move this train right now, I'm going to see to it that you lose your job. I promise. The MTA requests this inconvenience and thanks you for your patience. Hello? Shit. Oh. I may have the solution to your problem. Solution to your problem. I mean, I'm certain this is preferential to the floor. For uh, all involved. Can you just stand in front of me or something? Oh, sure. Thanks. Oh, I have my jacket. No one wants to see a little TT. Just get it done. All right, creepy time. Go ahead up there. And keep your hands where I can see them. Can somebody talk or something? You got anything, Shakespeare? Nothing apropos comes to mind. Anything. gonna do with that? You can never be quite sure. I can't do that. You just hold it. You just use one finger deep, 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 deep. A nail. I'm not a techie. <laughs>
Would you like a protein bar? These are the good ones. They don't taste like dirt. No, thank you. Well, I have two. Why are you trying to feed me? I just think that you need some food, you know. Because of the baby. What? I look pregnant to you? Oh, no. I don't mean no. It's just I can tell. And how can you tell? And don't give me that, oh, you have a glow. I can see it all over your face. White woman bullshit either. I don't have another explanation. Well, that's kind of creepy. Because my mama didn't even know. So you are. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You're off the hook. <laughs> you and your husband must be so excited. <laughs> there ain't no husband. We've heard before, but this one's different. Cause it's never gonna be about me. When you're born like that, you think you know better than to repeat history. That's my mother's mistake. My burden to break. She always said, Life's so long. So when something's wrong, so make it better. It's in my hands to make it better. Hey. 
I'm sorry things didn't work out for you with your person. And I bet you have some family or some friends that can help you out when the baby comes. There ain't gonna be no baby. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. There ain't gonna be no baby. All of that's gonna be taken care of. Okay. Well, of course you should do what you need to do. I know I shouldn't, but I just see this. This could be, this could just be a gift from God. I, I don't know, like an opportunity. So you're one of those? One of whom? Look, lady, God ain't gonna be the one elbow deep in messy diapers running from school to work trying to deal with a dumbass baby daddy. I wasn't criticizing you. Anyone I... can chalk their life up to doing what God wants them to do and not take responsibility for it themselves. You tell me what's worse, having it when you ain't ready or taking care of the problem before it ruins everyone's lives. Well, it can be incredibly challenging raising a child. This ain't a child! It can't survive without me. That's not a human being, that's a parasite. And this ain't none of your business. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just a little, I am, um, my son, he, I lost my son. He was, um, well, actually somewhat recently. It was a year ago. Today. What I want that opportunity from God. You don't know anything about me. About my life, about my son. You're right, I don't know anything about you. How old was he? About your age. What happened? I used to have a light behind my eyes and in my size there was no discontent, no tragedy. I've lost the strength I've lost the skill and now the will And I'm burdened by the weight of memory I hear his voice That goes inside of me I feel him rise Beside me he takes my hand Spinning laughter with a smile that never ends I need him here But he's gone, gone, gone He's
Eyes on the bleakest nights, I walk the halls and I swear I can see you. But I know I burst into your room as if possessed or just obsessed as the devil mocks me from below. He took you away that godless day, broken in on my knees without a prayer to pray. Now you go, I'm ripped in two. How can I believe in God when my God abandoned you? What life have I? Life of I. What rules apply? What rules apply? Weapon with safe fight despair with faith in short supply. Now you're gone. Now you're gone. Now that you're gone. Now that you're gone. How do I go? Mi abuelita me decía, nunca olvides que si no puedo estar contigo donde te encuentres, siempre te llevaré en mi corazón. ¿Se entiende? Sí. Yes. No, um, sí. Gracias. Um, I'm truly, truly sorry about your son, but this ain't the same thing. I'm alone. All alone. I was alone, just like you. You were never, ever just like me. I'm guessing you believe every pregnancy is God's will? No. Just believe some women are mothers. Yeah, well, I'm not. I disagree. You don't even know me. Doesn't make any difference. You'd make a fantastic mother. How could you be so sure? Just some white woman bullshit. <laughs> oh. Maybe she'd actually be doing a service by saving some kid from a life of misery. I didn't mean that a kid would be miserable with you specifically, I, I just... I just meant it's hard, you know, for, for anyone to feel connected to anybody else. It's all pretty pathetic. I mean, who in this city, actually, who in, who in the world ever just tries, between texting, emails, FaceTime, Skype, whatever, we have more ways of communicating now than we ever have before, and, and yet we just use them as new and more convenient methods of ignoring each other. Wow. Deep thoughts from creepy times, subway stalker. Do you know? It's weird how you think that you can say anything you want to anyone you want. I don't think that. No? What about all that smack you were talking to him earlier? Smack? I wasn't talking smack. It was just a debate. Oh, right. So it's totally okay for someone like you to have a debate, but you feel fine telling me when I need to shut up. I didn't tell you to shut up. Yeah, you did. Seriously, what, what is the deal? Is someone just handing out entitlement cards to girls like you that just give you the go-ahead to act like a... Bitch. I didn't say that, but okay. Yeah. Whatever. 
What's that like? What's what like? Being entitled to pick and choose the guys allowed to look at you or speak to you. I don't get to pick and choose that stuff. Because if I did, you wouldn't be talking to me right now. See? That's what I'm talking about. Th that's exactly what I'm saying. You assume that you're entitled to just say whatever you want because, well, after all, you're just so fucking pretty. <laughs> it's so <laughs> twisted that after stalking me, you're actually trying to turn this shit around and make it my fault that you're a freak? I'm not stalking you. Two days in a row, you were sitting outside the coffee shop waiting for me as I left. I like the coffee there. And today's what, a coincidence? that you were sitting outside the studio, got on the same subway, the same car. Wow, you know my every move. Maybe you're stalking me. What is it that you thought was gonna happen, huh? Did you think we were gonna go on a date or something? No. Do you wanna sneak a few more shots of me on your cell? No, 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 don't look down. I mean, we're stuck here, right? Let's just get it over with. Go ahead. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, you freak! Look, I'm your geisha girl Sweet like candy putty in your hands Look, I am in control Maybe I'm on top Giving you commands Tell me how you want me What's your fantasy? I'll dive it looks really good on me So look Look A Catholic school girl? Look How about not enough? Look The third in your threesome Look Maybe something That isn't what I meant. I swear to God, I never had a bad intent. I'm sorry that I scared you. Sorry I was mean. I shouldn't have followed you. I should have just come clean. If you'd only
only let me try, maybe, maybe I could tell you why. It's the angles of your face, how you caught the light just took my breath away. From the moment that I saw you, I was captured by your grace. It's like heaven sighs with every move you make. From the moment that I saw you, I knew I had to draw you. But you keep it all inside. Some things you cannot hide. It's not the beauty that you show that brings your face to light. I knew it from afar. If life's a stage, then you're the star. I see everything that you are. In the angles of your face, all you had to do was look my way. I'm so glad that I saw you. Beauty with a flaw. I just knew I had to draw. Give me your phone. I, I just took the one for a reference. I'm sorry. It's Caleb, right? Yeah.
girl. No, 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 no. I I'm not doing that. I watched my mother work herself to the bone raising me and my sister. I'm not wasting my life like that. Your mother didn't waste her life. Hey! How do you know it's a girl? It's always a girl. really the best end of the train. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't either. You're somebody's son. No olvides, si no puedo estar contigo, donde te encuentres, siempre te llevaré en mi corazón. spend most of our lives finding excuses not to try maybe it's all about the chance maybe life is just a dance we teach each other how to step with one another how can anybody be okay throwing possibilities away family maybe what you need is me we help each other father mother sister brother hey. sorry almost through here okay sup loser Hey, sis. You're late. I got stuck in the subway. Did you show that girl your drawing or did you wuss out again? Why? Why does this feel so hard? Why do we hide our heart? Wouldn't it be as easy to make a brand new start? The answer lies within The best of us begins to show we let defenses go and oh, 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 oh. Thank you. 
we fix what's wrong? Why do we take so long to see what's all around us, to hear each other's song? Just listen to the sound, rise up from underground and go! For you, won't you try? I want you to try. 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 Everybody is afraid of the dark. Your feet are rounding to the beat of your heart. When the lights go out, it's easy to fear. Every little phobia that suddenly appears. You thought you had a handle on the darkness inside. But now you see that you got nowhere to hide. Cause all the demons that were scared of the light were only hesitating till the moment was you're stuck, you're stuck inside an endless loop of morbid possibility. Whoa, you're stuck, you're stuck when your mind expands to fill the space that you no longer see. Imagination operates at highest degree, which turns you into what you thought you never could be. Whoa. Outside your body and open your mind Experience the freedom of a world you can't see And maybe, maybe then you'll, you'll comprehend, comprehend the demon is me Whoa, you're stuck, you're stuck, you're stuck If you keep trying to be someone you're not Whoa, you're stuck, you're stuck If you never open up to all the people you got So shake the trance and take a chance You're starting to grow Cause when you're brave, you start to crave the things you don't love.